Love this color red. You can't really notice it probably because it's kind of dark in here, but it's kind of like a cherry red, a black cherry red. The antenna here on this car boosts the signal to the built-in radio, first featured in cars in 1934. The radio on this car is a Sonomatic, the first push-button car radio. Look at the grill plate on that. It's pretty cool. Of these known today, these known exist. Mm -hmm. The restoration was finished in 2000. Oh. And the striping is exactly the way it would have come from mm -hmm. the factory. Oh. It says. Oh. <laughs> it was bought, purchased in Virginia, where it was stored in the shed for many years. I imagine. It was discovered by a car dealer who bought the property and wanted to raise the building. Can you imagine opening the building and seeing? I'm not sure it was not in condition. Hmm. Interesting. Thirty-eight hundred dollars. That's all you would have had to pay for it. Thirty-eight hundred dollars. So, if you were back in 1932. Going back in time, think about it, you could have this car for about 4,000 bucks. And this car is better built than the cars you buy today that cost 30 or 40,000. <laughs> Original gangster. This is the gangster's car. This is quite a car. Yeah. Jeez. This is like the El Capone car. 1921 Duesenberg. Oh. This is the lone survivor. There's only, only two were made. Two made. Oh. Factory price. I got a photo of me and Carol by the doozy. Sorry, it's the lighting in the museum. Oh, look at the grill on that. $1,200. The Auburn Automobile Company established in 1903 by Frank and Morris Eckert. Produce quality automobiles. The company was not very successful, evidenced by the fact that only 4,000 cars were produced between 1919 and 1922. Well, they might have not produced many cars, but they definitely produced. Back in the day of the American Auto Company, every car was unique. Today, they all look the same. They all sound the same. They all operate the same. Kind of a mahogany color. I like it. You just don't see these colors on cars today. 1931 Packard. Fuming that you drive such a car.
See what I mean? The passengers in the back seat on the outside, and you don't have to put up with them while you're driving. I don't know why they don't do that today. Put an ejection seat back there and you're all set. <laughs> I love this color green. I don't know what it would be, but it's just a nice shade of green. It definitely makes me want to watch a lot of movies from the 1940s. Packard.